everyone and welcome back to my channel so i've been i feel like i haven't done like a proper sit down kind of chatty video in a very long time all my videos recently have been quite like structured and i just felt like i wanted to do something a bit loose and a bit more sort of fun and a little bit different i'm going to be going through what i keep in my university bag and you may be thinking but you're not in uni but actually guys i am i went back to university <laughs> um so i'm back in university not full-time i'm full-time still working but i'm going back to university part-time to complete a few credits to get another master's. So the master's is in education, it's in educational research and understanding how, so the, the research methods in the social sciences, because I think coming from like a biological science background, research in, in the social sciences is very, very different. Um, so yeah, I'm at Sheffield University, which is far. Luckily, I do get time off work to be able to actually go there. And the last time I went there was two weeks ago. And this is the bag that I take to university. Um, my Cambridge satchel. Now this is also my work bag. So when I started working about three years, well, two and a bit years ago, I got this bag. My sister actually gifted it to me. And so it's basically my work bag, but it's also my uni bag as well. And right now it has everything in it. You can see it's just the perfect size. It's real leather. It's real leather, so the quality is amazing. It's gone through so much wind, rain. You know, you know how London weather is battle it's a battle every day's a battle especially in winter um but it's been it's absolutely fine um waterproof nothing goes in it and fits it actually it looks quite small so this is the large size so i'll leave the uh, dimensions for the bag and the specs down below but this is like the pretty it's a big size so you can see it's kind of like the size of my my shoulders <laughs> this color brown matches black really well it goes really well with navy it goes really well with pretty much most colors and i like to wear it, it has a very long strap so i like to wear it sort of over my head and around it's just such a nice bag and yeah i've got loads of compliments i always get compliments on it all the time it just never wears out and you get you can get your initials engraved in it as well so i got a Y engraved in the front over there. This is how much stuff fits in it. So I've got a laptop in there, I've got a Mac, I've got a book, I've got a lot of things in there. And it still has more space if you really want to fit more into it. Um, I was also worried that this strap would be uncomfortable because it's quite thin, as you can see, but it actually isn't, it's perfect. It, I, I don't know how or why, <laughs> but it, it's fine. It's perfectly, really snug, um, I really can't complain you guys oh yeah and it also has this front pocket here as well so you've got this front bit and you can even put like a card in here if you want to um so yeah so i'm going to start with this front pocket here and um, and in the front pocket i just keep things that i want to grab quickly so i've got id card so university id card lets you in obviously into your buildings and accommodation whatever it is that you need that gets you in there got my wallet so um, I, used to, I used to be one of those people that had like a really big wallet, kept everything, my super drug cards, my boots cards, all these cards, like loyalty cards that you just get forced into taking. Um, but then I realized that you, you never actually use them, you carry, you're just carrying them around and it just ends up being a liability because you have this massive big wallet that is very easy to kind of drop or get lost. Instead, I end up getting this card holder from YSL and it's just, it's just perfect. It has four, no, it has four five slots in the front but I only use three of them so my driving license my Oyster card and my debit card and then inside my inside the actual zip area you can put some coins if you want but I don't I just keep my Amex credit card and um, a library card and that's it and it, it just does the job you don't need more than that everything especially in London now everything is sort of paperless is sort of coin free contactless so you really don't need to carry around coins and change but when you go to Sheffield you kind of do so I keep a note in there just in case but yeah otherwise this is good enough obviously headphones um I haven't jumped on the i what they called iPods or whatever they're called the wireless ones I don't I want you to know that I'm listening to something or even if I'm not listening to something I want you to know that I don't want you to speak to me <laughs> when I have headphones and I feel like it deters people from speaking to you and you can be a lot more productive if you're in the library if you're at work if you're getting on with something if you're in the office when you have headphones and people are less likely to annoy you or they kind of just annoy you for what's necessary so I just put I like that Vaseline is a must uh, especially in this season now Sheffield as well really cold so you need something to just keep those dry lips moisturized tissue pretty simple and then i've got these just two i've got these two pens 
Um, I have a pencil case, I'll show you that in a second, but I kind of just keep two pens lying around just in case. You never know that day you forget to put the pencil case in your bag You just and you need a pen. The most embarrassing thing is to go to university or go to work and ask someone for a pen. Always keep pens in my bag. You never know when you need to write something down. You never know when you need to write your number down or take someone else's number or some just anything. You never, never know. And I've been in so many situations where someone said, oh, have you got a pen? And it's been quite urgent. And I've always had one, and they're always like, oh, okay. Because it's just it's somewhere that you don't necessarily take a pen, but I've always got a pen in my bag. So there are these two kind of loose pens hanging around. But I, like I said, I, always, I also do have my pencil case. So that's that section, as you can see, empty now. Um, fits quite a lot, still would fit a lot more. Um, my phone is usually in there as well, it's charging at the moment, but it usually would be in there as well. Um, and my keys would be in there as well. So it's quite a lot fits into it. I, I do think this, is, this bag is deceptively big it looks small but it's quite big moving on in the main bit i usually have my lunch or at least if i'm gonna have lunch at work or at uni i'll take some sort of snack so usually a fruit i always have a tangerine or an apple or some raisins or just something that i can kind of snack on and i'm also loving dates as well i find that it's such an easy but also very kind of nutritious snack that you can keep in your bag just kind of three dates a lot of people only have dates when they're fasting, but I have dates all year round. Like I always have medjool dates in my house. This is a pencil case that my sister gifted me. It's got my initials over there. I believe she got it from Indonesia when she was there earlier this year, or Malaysia, I can't remember which one. She went to both. Um, and inside, I just, you know, pens, pencils, the standard, highlighter, I like to have a highlighter. My favorite type of pen is this type of pen, the Muji kind of small ink um, pen. I think that they're 0.0. .0 yeah, 0.5 millimeters. Um, and I, I love it. I just love the way that it glides. I'm a sucker for write, like pens. I I'm currently on the hunt for a good fountain pen, and I was in was I in John Lewis? I think I was in John Lewis the other day, and I saw or was it Selfridges? No, Selfridges. And I saw this the fountain pen section. Oh my god, I died. But I used to have a Parker pen. So growing up, I grew up with a fountain pen, uh, only using a Parker pen, um, literally only exclusively using a Parker pen um, but then I don't know what happened I usually grow up and you stop using fountain pens and then now I just want to get back into it again so I'm looking for a good Parker pen at the moment or just good fountain pen in general then I've got this little case and this is a bit different I, some of you might find this a bit weird what I find is when you're giving a presentation especially my course is quite small there are only 50 of us about 20 actually about 15 20 of us so it's quite intimate we're all in a small room it's not a huge lecture theater and um, and so we give presentations quite often we stand up front of the class and we you know we speak and there's a lot of kind of public speaking and front facing so having something like this where you can kind of just point at what you want to talk to as opposed to kind of trying to point um, is quite useful and there's always someone that needs a PowerPoint like pointer what are they called Laser point, that's it. Laser pointer. It's that's not written here, but I just remembered. A laser pointer. Everyone needs a laser pointer. By the way, I apologize for this lighting. It's really frustrating me right now, but I don't want to have to get up and move and then put the fake artificial lighting on. It's it's I've changed the lighting about 10 times already. It's really frustrating. Living in London and filming is so so hard. Leave the house and it's sunny and then it starts raining, so you want to vlog and you can't vlog. You sit down to film and the clouds are literally moving so fast p past the sun and it's really difficult it's really, really difficult guys <laughs> so difficult so cloudy um, and then for my travels i always carry a book with me and I'm, my current read is this one shoe dog by phil knight and this is the uh, it's a memoir by the creator of nike so i haven't started reading it yet but i feel like it'll be quite interesting in terms of sort of from a business perspective and just knowing um, how he yeah he started his company and how he um, built the brand and how he how he just yeah changed the world I guess Nike is a huge company um, it's a huge huge brand and I feel like it would be really interesting to learn more from uh, Phil Knight about it so that's my that's my current read I have my diary now I can't leave the house without a diary or a planner 
my current diary that I'm using for 2019, which is almost finished, is this one. I got it from Muji. You know when you're, for example, you're in a lecture theatre or you're in a in a talk in a you're at university and they say, right, this is going to be due in January or this should be done by next week. And at the time you know what you're doing and then you leave and then you forget. So what I like to do is, as I'm being told the dates, I literally write it down at that time in my diary, so it's there. So sometimes when I'm just flicking through my diary and I'm like, okay, what do I need to do? I can see those dates there and it's really, really handy. So really having something like this, definitely having a diary or even just doing it from your phone or whatever you find most comfortable is super, super important. And then last but not least, my laptop. So I've got the MacBook Air. Um, it's the 2013 version. So I got it during my PhD and I still have it. I believe it's five years old now, but it's, it's one of the thin ones that first came out. So still super light and it it's perfect. The only thing about it right now is that it has slowed down, not slowed down, but the battery actually, sorry, is really weak. So it does have to be charged. I do have to take my charger with me every single time, which is really annoying. If I was doing a full-time course, I would, got a, I would have got a new one. Um, just because I don't want to have to carry my, lap, my charger around with me all the time, look for a charging port. It's just really frustrating. But because I only go in part-time, it's not such a big deal. I don't really mind it too much. Um, so yeah, I find this, I just, I just find having a laptop is so useful because I don't take any lecture notes with me. I don't take any paper with me, as you can see. I don't really have a notebook. So just being able to jot down um, any notes on Evernote or notes. I don't always take it with me, actually, to be completely honest. But um, I do find it useful to have in your bag, especially for the long journeys. Because from London to Sheffield, that's like two and a half hours. And I do it in the same day. So it's a lot of time to be sitting there doing nothing. And you can't read for five hours in the day. So having a laptop there to be able to do something else is super useful. So the last thing that I always carry, not in my bag, it depends, if I have space in my bag then I'll put it in there, if not I just kind of hold it like this, um, is a water bottle. Now you need one of these, I guess, just going out, whenever, anywhere I go I take a water bottle with me and a book. These are two things that I don't leave the house without, regardless of whether I'm going to see a friend, going to university, going to work, going home to my family, like I always have these two items with me. Um, but water, yeah, I just find it really, I find that you get thirsty at random times, so I might just be on the tube and I'm just feeling super thirsty and then you feel like you have to go and get a bottle of water and yeah whereas having a bottle with you is just a, a lot just easier to just have it on you it holds so much but it looks very small and that's kind of one thing i like about it it's not expandable and that was one thing i think in the beginning i didn't like about it when i first got it i was like uh what if i need to take a bit more what if i need this what if i need that but the fact that you have a bag that is structured and regardless of what's inside it it looks the same means that you minimize what you put into it and i would say i have a very minimal kind of bag in terms of what I keep inside it. There's not much that I take to university every single day or even to work. This is the pretty much the exact same as work, except for work, I don't take my laptop because we have computers there and I also um, would put a lunch in there for sure. Have you guys enjoyed that, seeing what's in my bag? I thought it was a bit different to do a video like this. I've never done anything like this before. So I just thought it would be different to talk about what's in my bag because people like to know it's in people's bags, right? There's a whole museum of people's belongings on little tables and exhibitions and stuff so why not leave the link for it down below it's made in the uk it's real leather you really can't go wrong it's just such a classic i can pass it down to my child and they could wear this to school when they're in year seven and it would still be a beautiful bag and that's what i love about it it's, it's just it's timeless and i love that anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up don't forget to press the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye